Hey, Chris Menard here. I'm back in town. I would ask if you missed me, but I know you have, so there's no need to ask that. I had a great question about how to do a table of contents with some very specific uh, features. So what I have right now is dress code is a heading one. Then I've got some normal text. Shirts is a heading two. I only have a one-page document just to show you how to do this. So I'm going to go put my table of contents in. So there's a page break, references, that works. Here's what they want to do. So far it's been easy. They do not want that tab stop leader from dress code and time off because those are your heading ones. They do want them for shirts and shoes. And then after I get rid of them for the heading ones, they want a border underneath the heading ones. So I'm going to select dress code over here in the selection bar. Control Shift S on the keyboard. Apply styles. Modify. Tab stop right now is at 6.49 with the right leader. So that's format tabs. I'm going to say none for the leader because I still want the tab stop over to the right. Set, OK, OK, close. Dress code is the heading one and it's perfect. Time off is the heading one and it's perfect. There's no leader. I could have done this all at one time. I'm going to go back to dress code. Control Shift S, Modify, Format, Border. You pick whatever border color and border width you want. Just to make this easy, I'm going to do three. I want it below. Click OK. There's a preview. Click OK. Close. So that's what they wanted to do with their table of contents, and that is how you do that. Thank you. I'll have some more tips for you uh, whenever I have them.